Hello, everybody. Hey, everybody. Laura, you messed up our intro. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's start that over. <laughs> Hold on. Laura messed up the intro. Oh, Hold no. on. Hey, everybody. At Refines here. I'm Mary Beth. I'm Laura. That's more like it. Thanks. You can't just say, hey, it's my turn. Hey, everybody. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, my gosh, guys. There's so many comments already. We're, we're never going to be able to catch up on this. <laughs> good, good evening to all of you. Thank you all for being here. Let's just quickly see who's here. Show Ross, first one here. Vintage Collectibles. Hello. Welcome. Vintage Collectibles. That is Jeannie Beecham. Bonjour. I, no, I said it wrong. It's Beecham. Beecham, like from Outlander. You're right. We asked her, didn't yes. we? Yes, yes. Okay, let's see. Who else is here? Michelle. Aaron. Hey, Aaron. Thrift U is here. Teresa. It's Sam and Sarah. Hey, Yvonne. Yvonne. Andrea Joseph. Gail. Char's Nest. Rachel. Lots of people are here. Suzanne Rachel, McLean. you might not know this. Um, I was on the chat earlier, and Rachel has hit 1,600 subscribers. Woohoo, Rachel. Good job, Rachel. Vintage Thrifted Treasures. Reclaimed Treasures by Mary. Vintage awesome. Uprising Texas. That's an awesome name. I like that one. Carolyn is here. A lot of people are here. I'm sorry. I know I'm missing some of you. Kim is here. I like to shout everybody out. But at the same time, you know, we got Michelle from Comfy Cozy Living in the house. She's going to be our welcome wagon. Michelle, start shouting people out for us because it's busy tonight. Yes. So say hi for us okay. while we get started. So as always, first question of the night, what are you drinking? So this is a funny story. <laughs> this is pretty great. Okay. So our wine glasses this week are these little like martini glasses that have the blue stems on the bottom and so Laura of course our colors on our channel are <laughs> orange and blue and so Laura was like we need something orange how are we gonna find something orange <laughs> so she goes to Sonic earlier and asks the lady do you guys have anything orange I was like, please get, just make me something orange <laughs> and the lady's like well we don't really have anything orange on the menu but anyway, I, what is this? A Fanta? Frozen Fanta? Yeah, I think she just took orange soda and made us a slushy out of it. That's so But I wanted one of those really, because we're drinking rum, I wanted, I wanted one of those really tropical, cool drinks, and I think the COVID got them. You know, they don't mm. have those special summer breezers or oh, the, the good stuff. Gotcha. But so, cheers. Yes, cheers to you, Laura. Um, these are like frozen Fanta <laughs> rum drinks. Very nice. We're really fancy around here. <laughs> so so fancy. Now, I will say that the colors are pretty fancy. The yes. drink's just not so fancy. Are we going to give our wine glasses away? If anybody wants them. We'll have to figure out a challenge or a competition or something, and we'll give the wine glasses away again. Vinny, you know, Vinny works. I don't know if he's here. Oh, there he is. Hey, Vintage Vinny. Vinny. He told us when we showed these before that you could get these at, like, TJ Maxx or something. Right. But still, they're cute. They are very cute. So they're not vintage, so don't get super excited. But they are really adorable. I saw Mish I saw Misty in the chat. Hey, Misty. Misty, guess what? <laughs> I'm going to get to see you tomorrow. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Mary Beth, she said it was like Christmas Eve earlier in one of the chats. That's adorable. I love it. It's pretty that. cute. I'm excited. You guys were pretty excited. So if you if you haven't heard, um, some of us are meeting up tomorrow uh, to go see George, the antique nomad. Uh, Jeffrey is going to be there. Misty's going to be there. Patrick, trusty her, huckster mercantile. We're going. Yep. It's going to be fun. I think Patrick's en route. He yeah. said, I really hope I can get to Paducah in time to turn on the show and see, at least see what glasses that you've got. That's funny. And speaking of glasses, uh, last week we had a challenge and a competition and we mailed off our glasses that Patrick gave us. Yes. And it was so much fun. Mm -hmm. What was the answer, Mary Beth? How many Christmas ornaments were in the box? Okay. So, uh, the person who won, I think said 166. I think that was her answer. And, 
Um, but the real answer was like 185, I think. Awesome. So yeah, she was doing really a close. lot of <laughs> Christmas ornaments in that thing. I know. <sighs> oh, CA Susie says, I want to go. I'm so jealous. We're not going to talk about it too much because I don't blame you guys. <laughs> I, I would be jealous too. Yeah, Michelle is really mad at us. Michelle, I, maybe we'll just show up here in a little bit and come get you. <laughs> A long drive. Do you think we can get on a plane? I'm scared. I'm scared of the plane. Yeah. Hey, hey, Michelle, though, I did learn. So we have taken the train, the what is it? Amtrak? Yes. It's called up to Chicago before. And I've recently learned, I think, that you can keep going and go to Milwaukee. So maybe that's in our future. Wouldn't that be fun? You've been on the train before, haven't you? Mm -hmm. I haven't. So, that, oh. so I've never been. Yeah. Nikki and I went to Chicago. We can do train. a video. On the train. That would be fun. Yes, I think we should I think we should do that. Go up and see Michelle. Okay. Are yeah, there was there was no special invitations. I heard I saw somebody say that they were sad they didn't get an invite. There was not a special invitation. George it just was kinda, having a sale. It just kinda happened. And Patrick decided he wanted to go. And I mean, we're close. George so. George and, and us, we're pretty close together. We're both in western Kentucky. He's about an hour away. Mm -hmm. Hour and a half, maybe. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe. I mean, yeah. The others are traveling uh, farther than that. So, yes. Trains. Yes. Somebody said, I'd go to Milwaukee. That was Thrift U. Oh, yeah. Thrift U. They're close because they're in Des Moines, right? Yes, they're in Des Moines. Does Amtrak go through Des Moines? Sarah? I don't, I don't think I bet so. it's Sarah. I bet it's not Sam. Is it Sam or Sarah tonight? Oh, Sarah. <laughs> Michelle said, yes, Sarah. Let's plan it. Let's do it. Don't go without us. Sarah, that would, that would be so much fun. Come on now. Okay. So, Laura, mm -hmm. we have a little bit of content. <laughs> so, can you believe it? We 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 have a point to flipping and sipping tonight. That's our that's our motto. We have a little bit of content. <laughs> we, on Friday night. On on flipping and sipping, we like to have fun. We like to just, you know, see what everybody's up to and then, you know, have a little bit of content. Mm -hmm. And then we might play a game later, of course. I think the game is pretty popular. We like to play games around here. We do. So Laura and We're I, <laughs> right? <laughs> last weekend, Laura and I went to an auction, but it was cooler than that because it was a liquidation sale of an antique store. So this antique store had gone out of business, and they liquidated everything in the store. Yeah, we've had our eye on this auction for a long time. Mm -hmm. It got canceled and rescheduled, mm -hmm. and um. We just really lucked out because, yeah. you know, I mean, that's a lot different than going to somebody's house. You don't have collectors that have that much little syllable cute stuff. Right. So. Right. So at the beginning of the auction, there were like more expensive, nicer things. Right. Right. And we're actually going to show those nicer things in Tuesday's video. So make sure you stay tuned on Tuesday. We're going to show you some of the nicer things. But here tonight we're going to show you some of our like box deals mm -hmm. so as the auction progressed people got tired people left and then they just started throwing things in boxes and auctioning off whole boxes for like a dollar that's my favorite that's laura's favorite thing you know thrift you hey guys they had a really cool auction video this week so i think they love auctions i think they have a regular um is nate here I see. Yeah, it's Nate's here. Hi, Nate. Uh, Thrift U, you guys have an, a Wednesday night auction or something like that. We have a Saturday night one here. But um, auctions are by far my favorite. Oh, is that me? Yeah. <laughs> Megan said hey earlier. Oh, hi, Megan. I have I literally have only seen about four comments. There's a lot of comments tonight. There are. We're going to have to go back and look. Megan's in Florida. Yeah. Megan left us here and went to Florida with her friends. Mm-hmm. That was really She's crappy. Fun. She went out on the boat today. She did. Okay, let's check out what we've got back here, Laura. Okay, Sarah, I'm 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 reading ahead. That's fine. Sarah, you always do. Sarah says, "Oh my God, I live for the auction." Me too. It's and like it's, Laura is like right at home at an auction. She just goes in there like she owns the place. I do. I feel like I do. You do. I know, and I just love it. Okay, so do you remember how much we spent on this box? <laughs> it was $2. $2 for this box. But we don't even have the... It was like a giant candlestick that came with this box. Yep. And a three-tier tray that we gave to Nikki. Yep, we did. Okay, 
So the you first, thought she wouldn't like it, and she did. She I did like it. We kind of were joking about it, and she really liked it. She's, I love a three-tier tray. She's <laughs> already started decorating. Did you hear it. that? She said, I love a three-tier tray. There's a challenge about a three-tier tray that we missed out on, I think. First thing that's in here is like this little uh, felt. I don't know what this is. It's like a little purse. It's modern. It's not vintage. Still has the price tag on it, though. Anyway, that was just kind of thrown in there. Yeah, like I said, don't get this is just fun. this is super fun. There's nothing like overwhelmingly exciting in here, but it's so much fun. I mean, how can you pass up a whole box of this kind of stuff for two dollars? Right? right. Here's a really cool, um, pretty blue bottle. I love no that. Mark that looks it. like something you would like. Yeah, I do like stuff like this. No mark or anything, but cute. Doesn't appear to be damaged. You you you're doing a fine job. I want to read the comments while you're doing that. You you. Go right ahead. My face is so hot, y'all. I uh, was outside all day. I got sunburnt. It's the worst. What do I tell you about that? I know. You're mad at me. And I, Megan, I bet you're out there sunburnt, too. Yeah, I bet she is. This has a 3.9 on the bottom. If anybody likes the number 39, you're in luck. Here's a green bottle just for you. I bet you... I know this is kind of a junky box, but I bet there's a lot of people that think these bottles and things are cool. Yeah, I like these bottles. No, it's not super junky. There's a couple of really cool things in here. I'm just kind of getting the worst stuff first. Okay. Here's an old, like, looks like a milk. <laughs> Somebody said your right face is the wrong. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm not. I haven't been drinking that much. I just started. <laughs> I was seriously, I was outside all day and I got really, really sunburned. It's like the first day I've been out in the sun. So far. This says sealed 52 LC or something. It's like a milk bottle, One right? Quart. Mm -hmm. That's kind of cool. Do you remember what how that milk came in milk bottles, Mary Beth? Well, I'm, I don't remember it, but I'll just go ahead and drink. <laughs> Vinny, you're going to need to drink. Well, it's not Vinny's fault. How do you, why are you throwing him in here? If you're new to flipping and sipping, Laura can't take it. When I when she talks about something, I'm like, I don't remember that because I wasn't born yet. I have to drink. So, you guys out there, whenever you I see a comment out there, you're going to have to drink. This bottle says St. Joseph something. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I bet people aspirin. like that one. That would be aspirin. I don't think it is. Okay. I mean, that's like a lot of aspirin. I think that would be too many. Yeah, I don't know. I certainly don't know. I don't know anything. Okay, Michelle says, I drank for you on my live sale, MB. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Moss Stone Story <laughs> Vintage says aspirin, baby aspirin. Oh, good. Nikki. I'm, I'm not an idiot. I know what I'm talking about. Nikki coming through over here. Nikki, nobody thinks you're an idiot. Nice. So this one's kind of cool. I really like this one. It's got handwritten uh, note on it. It says, one teaspoon for cough noon and then it has a person's name on it that is so cute i like that nick and vinny said he did drink and mimi uh, not mimi um cindy with a y from mimi's cottage she said your drink looks yummy so i'm just gonna tell her that is so cute Look it says 1967 smart. on the back on the bottom that's kind of cool that is really cool me uh cindy i went to sonic I wanted our colors, and so I made them make me an orange slushy that we could mix rum with. It was so good. Jura glass? Does that say Jura I think glass Sarah liked that. Sarah, was that a good eek or a bad eek? Eek. <laughs> so, yeah, just some little bottles. We might lump those together and sell those, like, in a, in a live sale or something. But the reason we bid on this box is because there's, like, tons of these little tin uh, spice containers in here. Here's one. Here's one for cloves. Cloves again. I knew they would love those bottles. We're still, because we're a little bit behind the chat. Ginger. Oh, and these are pretty. Look at these. Here's one that says spices on it. This is pepper. These are salt and pepper shakers. Y'all, we're still going. This is all $2. All of this was just $2. And I'm, that one. I'm telling you, we had to, we literally had to leave. Because we couldn't fit anything else in the RAV. <laughs> and while she was telling me that we couldn't fit anything else in the RAV and packing up her the last stuff, I was still buying boxes. She just I was like, I'll them. just hold them or something. And, and then after that, we I mean, they were just trying to get stuff away for a dollar. And I was like, Mary Beth, I can't. 
I can't sit here and watch this. It just hurts. It kills me. What was it that I was so upset about that we had to leave? Oh, right when we were leaving, we had, I'm telling you guys, we had packed up the car. Megan was just barely fit in the back seat back there. <laughs> we had filled up as much stuff as possible. Laura went up to pay and we were literally walking out of the place. And then they pulled out from under this table, out of this box, this gorgeous, like five finger swung one of those vases, mid-century vases that are so pretty. Mm -hmm. It was gorgeous. But we were so tired, and we had been there for hours and hours and hours. Yeah, and <laughs> we weren't waiting. We, we couldn't wait for that. But you, the, the wicker piece, it was one of those little wicker conversation chairs. Oh, it yeah. It sold for nothing. Yeah, you know those conversation chairs that one one sits this way and the other sits this way, and, and it's it, wicker? Yeah, it was that real ornate wicker, like, Sarah, you probably know, like, like they made those baby prams out of, you know, you see those big, huge, oversized baby carriages with all that fancy scroll work. Yeah, it looked like that. It sold, what, for like $15 or something crazy? Yeah. Yeah. I, it about killed me. <laughs> Vintage Thrifted Treasures got her Afghan. Yay! Yay, Laura! We Laura were, oh, go ahead. Sorry. We really like that Afghan. Yeah, that was one of my favorites. And Laura Melendez, leave her up there for a second. Yep. You guys are used to seeing Laura Melendez. Now she's called Vintage Thrifted Treasures, and she just had her first video. So I think we should cheers to that. We should cheers everyone. to that. Way to go, Laura You did a Melendez. great job, Laura Melendez. Can't wait to see the next one. I subscribe to you immediately. Yay. Very nice. Okay, so next question of the day. I'll try to actually like read these. I didn't read the drinks. What did you do today? What'd you guys do today? Laura, what did you do today? Oh my gosh, Mary Beth, I had to work today. <laughs> I'm sorry. And it was Friday, although it wasn't Arbor Day. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what next Friday is? No. Next Friday is bad. I'm sorry. Next Friday is the third. Mm, the third is always a busy day for me. And more. it's the a holiday, mm -hmm. and other people are going to be closed, and we're just it's just going to be terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> Today was my day off because I uh, <clears throat> work four ten hour days in the summer, and then I have Fridays off. But I didn't. God, have, I can't believe that. I didn't really have a day off because I stained my deck outside my back porch. Oh my god! I stained it. My brother came over yesterday and cleaned it with a pressure washer. So I stained it today. I mowed the grass and I don't know. I think I did something else. Oh, I did some roundup work on my sidewalk and I got sunburned and I'm exhausted. Mm -hmm. It was a long day. It's a long day. Yeah. Nice to end it with a drink and a bunch of friends and true that flipping and sipping. I love flipping and sipping with my friends. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Okay, let's see. We've got more things that people did. Polly's project slipped. That sounds much better <laughs> That's than mine. really day. nice. Work, work, work. Cleaned the house and worked on some things. That sounds productive. Very nice. What? Are you serious? <gasps> That's not good. What? Bit by a snake. Kaylee Cat got bit by a snake. Oh my God. Are you okay? That's terrible. Fine. I hate snakes. Snakes I, scare me. Do you know, you guys, Megan will walk up to me and put a TikTok on that has these people doing ridiculous things with these snakes. I can't, I can't <laughs> take it. Moss Stone Story Vintage. Got my hair done finally. Yay. That's great. Garage sales. Crafty Jackie. That's a new name to me. Listings. Oh. Come over here and help us get motivated Come to list something. We have, we have really the slacked on our listing, right? The live sales have just, you know, they have just cut our, my, I don't know, motivation maybe? No, yes. I'm still motivated, but I just, I can't, I'm tired. Alex is live, so I, could, I was so mad because I was outside and it was like 11 or 10 or so. And I was like, okay, I've got time. I'm going to do this and then I'm going to go in and watch Alex's sale and then I got busy and then I just missed it. I was so upset. Listing, very productive, very impressed. Fed my pets and got bit by a snake. Hmm. Avon, my nails and video. Avon, your nails were kind of pretty the other day. I was watching, you know, you and I were chatting live on your live and they were like glittery and stuff where they just kind of grown out. They were so cute. 
Did you know that that she got her shirt? She got her. Oh yeah, I watched shirt? it. I watched oh, okay, it. Okay, okay. Yeah, I saw it. Awesome. I, I knew you weren't there live. I'm glad you like it. That color looks good on you. <laughs> she held it up. You know, looks good. Oh look, yeah. Keep going. There's Suzanne McLean ones. thrifted, ran errands, and went treasure hunting. Awesome. That sounds fun. Oh yay, Karen Benson. I love. Yeah, that California tablecloth is so cool. I love that. Me too. Watched YouTube sales. Connie, all day. Connie. I love Connie, Connie. Kaylee, yeah. Let us know. Are you okay? <laughs> The morning I rented a U-Haul trailer and went to the dump with my hubby. Nice. You guys are so productive. <laughs> she finished up painting her house. My goodness. Wow. Yeah. That's just like something you would do. You're very productive. Cameron was going to come back over and help me with, with staining today. And he got called away. He had to paint for you my can, dad today. You have to come over and do some sort of big project at my house. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Nate did little... Of nothing today. Mm -hmm. Let's see. <laughs> oh, her hand is swollen, but she's fine. Well, thank goodness that oh, you're thank okay. Goodness. That is so bad. Oh, she says hog nose. I don't know that sort of snake. Have you ever heard of that? I don't. Uh -uh. <laughs> I don't do snakes. I don't think I want to know what that is. Yeah, really. Thrifty, you picked all day. Nice. To Very good. Tale, St. Vincent. Very, very nice. You guys are. Sarah, do you have nine to five? Or are you, do you thrift? I mean, is this like your, the way that, is, is this your work or do you have a regular nine to five job? Oh, the snake is her pet. <gasps> gotcha. Oh. Okay. So here we are. Here we are talking bad about snakes and it's her pet. I am afraid of snakes. Yeah. Okay. I'll have to look up a hog nose. I don't know about that snake. <laughs> okay, I'm just kind of skimming. We are, um, mom says that she was dog sitting your brother's, my brother's Weimariner. Mm -hmm. I didn't know he had one of those. Yeah. Oh. It's really cute. That's cool. Okay, let's play a game. <laughs> We're going to play heads up later. We're going to try to figure out how to do it because Laura's going to have to shut her eyes or something because she can't look at the screen. So I'm going to have to make her close I, her eyes. I could just take my glasses off. Can you really not I, read it? I mean, I've gotten to where I can't. I can't see. Like, I can't, I can't see the comments at all if I take my glasses off. Okay. Are you ready? But no, I got to put my glasses back on. Okay. Here okay. we go. This is the same one that we've been playing, but we've had somebody that was waiting and they were excited about playing the game, right, Mary Beth? Yeah. I forgot who it was. So we're going to do a couple of rounds of this. It might have been Cheryl. <laughs> okay. First person to get this correct in the chat, don't say it if you get it. Let's, okay. let, let's let somebody get it. You just read it. First person to get this correct in the chat, I will call you out. Send us an email. Send us your mailing address, and we'll send you the cocktail glasses. Well, isn't that fun? It's that's that's the game. That's fun. Are you ready? I think so. It better be a hard one because everybody's good at this game. I know, right? Maybe I should find a, a harder one. You better you better find a really hard one. Okay. It's hard. It's. Here, I'm going to do this one. Okay, here we go. First person to get it right in the chat gets the wine glass. I'm trying to look at the chat. Am I supposed to be reading this? Yeah, read it. No and you wolfie. <laughs> no and you wolfie. <laughs> No and Hugh Wolfie. No and Hugh Wolfie. <laughs> like you will see. <laughs> no and Hugh Wolfie. I know I should be doing I can't do it faster. I know. No and Hugh Wolfie. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is? Is anybody getting it? Okay, wait. I bet they are. We're just a little, just a few seconds behind. We are. We're lagging just a little bit. So I'm waiting. <laughs> I 
It was Vintage Vinny. <gasps> no annual fee. No annual fee. <laughs> Good job, Vinny. Vinny, that is so ironic because you're the one that told us about the glasses. He could probably get a ton of those glasses. But probably you know what? Could. We could, we could like, I don't know, initial them and decorate them or something. We can <laughs> sign them with a Sharpie because they'll be worth millions <laughs> one day. That's so ridiculous. we got to do it now just to be funny. Vintage Vinny, we will send these to you and it's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. I can't stop drinking this drink. I know, me too. It's really good. Vinny, no annual fee. Yes. I'm going to get us some more. Vinny, go Vinny. Okay. Donnie. <laughs> good one, Vinny. Do you know what they're calling him? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Donnie Osmond. <laughs> That's fantastic. Go Vinny. Good job, Vinny. That was fast. He's a little bit rock and roll. Man. He is. <laughs> Very good. Okay. We've got some more stuff. All right. Let's see. This is my favorite thing. <laughs> Michelle just said, hey, Nikki. <laughs> oh, hey, oh. Michelle. Look at this, guys. Oh, Michelle. Michelle, get ready. So there was a ton of this just gorgeous purple glassware. Look at this. I told Laura, I was like, maybe I can use this for flipping and sipping. <laughs> what do you guys think this is? What do you think this is for? I guess, I mean, I think you can a, put a, plant, a plant in it. Anything's a planter, Mary. Beth. Yeah. Misty and Alex would say anything's a planter. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, thank but you. There was just tons of this gorgeous. You were into the purple. Yeah, but there was, it was all set up there together. Here, hold this. <laughs> Rachel, Rachel said it, a goldfish. <laughs> Isn't that great? And then you're going to be excited because somebody said they loved your shirt. Oh, thanks. Michelle at Mermaid Co. Yay. Thanks, Michelle. I'm gonna have to have some some kind of a cool shirt. But isn't that cool? They just had all this really pretty uh, purple glassware up there all together, and it just looked so pretty. I had to have all of it. It was just a few dollars for the whole lot of it. Wedding decor vase, maybe so. Floating candle holder, maybe so. That's kind of what I think. Too. Vinny also says candle holder. Okay. Cool. Yep, candle. And the other one, where's the other one? I love that. Isn't that great? Can you can you hand me that piece back? <gasps> oh. Everything's fine. I almost knocked my drink over. <laughs> oh, that was a disaster waiting to happen. Oh, Everything's fine. <laughs> the drink did not tip over. So this, this is really cool. I think this is uh, one of those old, like, genie bottles or something yeah it would have originally i think had a stopper yeah it's in poly i think mm -hmm. so isn't that pretty and mary beth was all all excited then we figured out that it was supposed to have a stopper and she was so sad i was i was really upset but it's still pretty right i know I Don't love you think it. it's still pretty i do i really do i like it you could use it as a wine decanter maybe or a vase <laughs> <laughs> hey look who's here it's Leandra and Tom. Hey, good to see you guys. Hey, Leandra and Tom. Welcome. Oh, I, I, I just want to talk to everybody, so I go back and try to look. Yes. Pretty purple glass. What's that one? That one's just a little bowl. Oh, yep. This one's just kind of like a little hobnail. It's not marked or anything. Mm -hmm. It's just pretty. Yeah. We thought these might be like good, maybe live sale items. I like them. Cute. I like it. Okay, and then let's one more. I got one more for you. <laughs> you made fun of me for this, so you gotta say if you <laughs> if you said it looks like a hookah. <laughs> it does. Oh, I can't reach it. I want that. Right oh, there. these things. Yes. <laughs> Mary Beth is like, my arms are. Gosh. Oh. Mary Beth was like, I was, it was only two dollars for these three pieces together, and she was like, "What are you doing?" But they're cute. Look, they're the little clear flower frogs, right? Everybody knows about those. Can't do that. I do that backwards. But then look, look at the paperweight. It's so cute. This one's this one's pretty. You guys know that I love a paperweight, right? <laughs> Mary Beth is like morally opposed to paperweights. She, <laughs> the, she thinks they have no use in life whatsoever. <laughs> But look how pretty that one is. Yeah. 
Oh, now you're saying yeah. No, it you is. You were saying it was ugly. No, I didn't. I just don't understand. We won't get into this again. <laughs> I just don't understand the point of a paperweight. I would rather just call it a decorative item to put on your desk. <laughs> because no, is anybody really using this to hold paper down? <laughs> well, what fun is that? See, somebody said really pretty. Yeah, I think it's really pretty oh, that too. Was Aaron. But thanks, Aaron. So explain to me the flower frogs. If anybody's new and you think I'm an idiot, it's <laughs> true. I really don't know anything about anything. Laura's teaching me. Laura's teaching Rachel's me. Rachel's agreeing with you. She said it's very pretty, but no point. Exactly. So Laura teaches me things about vintage and antique items. So I'm learning. Oh, and so Michelle at Mermaid Cove just said paperweights are Nate's jam. See, I didn't know that. So Nate, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. And Suzanne McLean said, I love the two I bought from you. That's right. Look Those at, were cute. Those were cute. Look at this comment. You never know when the wind is going to blow in your <laughs> office. It's great. I, I know. You just never know. Whatever. <laughs> the flower. You said. Leander uses them to hold down paper. <laughs> that's, that's really good. I'm glad. I just. Don't be mad at me, guys. <laughs> Katie says, imagine the window is open by your desk. You true. Need one. That's true, Katie. You're right. Somebody said they needed flower frogs to set their marbles in. So the reason that I was aggravated at Laura for buying these is because I didn't really understand what they were. I, I didn't un understand. And so Laura explained to me that they're to hold flowers in the bottom of a vase or something. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. That's why I was aggravated. Well, yeah. And so... There's these kinds, the more popular kinds really have the little, uh, I don't know, the little pins that stick up mm -hmm. and you would stick the stems of the flowers on there and it really held them better than yeah. trying to set them in these holes. Yeah. And now then people put like old postcards and stuff in them. Michelle had a cool piece in her live sale this week. It was like a ceramic piece with like a little flower frog. Oh, I knew you would middle. love that. I was going to try to buy that and not, my internet connection yeah, was really bad. Like one of the sides of it was kind of folded over. Mm. It was really cool. I knew you would like that. I did like it. <laughs> yes. Okay. Also, um, who else? Oh, um, I know you guys probably... All of you decorate a little bit with those. I tell you, somebody that does a really cool job of it is uh, Tina. At, oh, a um, Vision and Vintage. Yeah, Vision and Vintage Co. Yes. Yeah. Don't forget the Co. I always forget the Co. A Vision and Vintage Co. Tina. Yep. <laughs> we love Tina. Okay. You want to do another card? Michelle said, why didn't you tell me you wanted that? <laughs> I also wanted that zebra. That zebra was so cute. Who bought that zebra? That little zebra. Oh, I love that zebra. Why are we fighting over this card? We are. You can have it. I'll read it. Let's do another card. Okay. Okay, are you ready? You guys ready? I'm ready. We don't have anything else to give away, I don't think. Just do it. Just throw it up there. Okay. Wealth, his scissor surprise. Okay, so the last is surprise. Wealth, his scissor surprise. Wealth, his scissor surprise. <laughs> Wealth is... Wealth is... Wealth is scissor surprise. <laughs> wealth is scissor. Su wealth is scissor surprise. Oh, Aaron bought the zebra, and Aaron's here, so you can be jealous. Oh, to Aaron, Aaron in person. <laughs> Dang it, Aaron! Wealth is scissors. <laughs> You're never gonna get this. Rachel says I suck at this game. Yeah, me too. too. It's so hilarious. Has anybody gotten it yet? Aaron said, "Eek, eek." <laughs> Gail, 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 Where Gail? Well, well, this is a surprise. Well, this is a surprise, Mary Beth. <laughs> Gail, you're so good. Good job, Gail. Very nice. <laughs> Somebody said, "I need a drink so I can get some of these." <laughs> it's not helping. It's not. It's not helping. Okay. Okay. Do you want to look at this other box back here, or do you want to do a game? It's your, it's your call. I don't know. What okay. do you think? We're going to try a new game. Laura has to shut her eyes. Well, okay. So you guys have to know, she's a little salty with me about the 1983 trivia. Because even though that was in honor of her birth year, it wasn't really fair because, I mean, you know, she was just born that year, so she really didn't know any of it. <laughs> so I was asking it, and I, I would have been good at it if you had been asking me. But it was kind of backwards. <clears throat> so, 
she's trying to get me back because she knows I'm not very good at this game. Yeah, so you guys have played we Heads played, Up, right? We played in the car. The app on your phone. It's like Heads my up. best favorite thing to do my, on the trip. My favorite thing is to like shout out these movie movie clues to Laura and she gets so flustered and she can't answer I can't and also the funny thing is that I haven't seen most of the movies on these lists and so I have to like skip 20 in a row because either I've never seen it or I can't think of what to say about it is it because you're not old enough to have seen it (laughs) okay let's try it are you ready? You're going to so, have to close your eyes. So what's going to happen? Do I take off my glasses? I Do will. I... I'll th- hold up the phone so they can see what I'm doing. But you have to shut your eyes. Okay. Can, I, do I just have to do you, like this? You can do that. That's fine. Well, okay. I better take my glasses up here. Okay. I'll do that too. Are you ready? <laughs> no. <laughs> hide your... Hide. Okay. Don't look. I'm, I'm, I, need a, I need a clue. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh I, come can't, on. I can't think. Oh, it's Nikki's favorite movie with aliens. Uh, uh, Men in Black? No. Independence Day? Yeah. Oh, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's the rat, the brat pack, and they're in the pretty in pink. No, and they're in the St. Thomas Fire. They're at the library. Uh, the Breakfast Club. Yeah. Oh, it's Nev Campbell, and it's the 90s, and it's a horror movie, and he wears a mask. Scream! I don't know about that. Or that. This is uh, Sylvester Stallone, and he wears a a thing on his head, and he's in the jungle or something. A, a thing on his head? Like a like a bandana. Uh, I don't know. It's Rambo. <laughs> oh, my God. Pass! <laughs> This is in Narnia. Oh. This is in Narnia. It's the line, the witch, and the wardrobe. Oh, well, like, Chronicles of Narnia is like a name. Right. I have a suggestion. Yes. <laughs> Maybe you should not point the answer to the camera mm-hmm. so that they can guess, too. You mm. should just yell out clues. That's true. <laughs> just yell out we can do it backwards. We can do that, too. But I think the funny thing is that Laura gets so flustered. Well, I mean, you're, you would shoot and playing too. You look at the answer and yell out clues, and everybody gets in trouble. Okay. Okay. Try that. Okay. Was that fun? Was that? In- <laughs> 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 Let's do that way one more time, and then we'll switch it up and let them play. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Do you want to give the clues? No. I don't think I can do it. Okay. Because you know what happens? If I try to give the clues, I can't. I do this backwards. Yeah. Okay. Hide your eyes. Okay. Oh, I can't. (laughs) Oh, she's a lawyer and it's a pretty woman, but she's a lawyer and she's trying to say. Aaron Brockovich. Yeah. Oh, no. We're supposed to get nine, Mary Beth. I can't. Oh, Ohana means family. <gasps> Lilo and Stitch. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> this is also Pretty Woman, but she's supposed to be getting married, and I think she runs away. I can't say run away. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I did it the wrong way. Run away, bride. My lips hurt real bad. <laughs> Tina, you fat lard, come get some dinner. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you want to bet I can throw a football over them mountains? <laughs> oh my God, what is this? I have no idea. It's Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, I hate that. I don't like that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you do the voice? <laughs> this is funny. Why didn't you do the voice? You should have said, my lips are oh, real bad. No, my lips are real bad. <laughs> I caught you a nice bath. It's <laughs> great. Yvonne, I love you. Oh, that's so great. Andrew Joseph says tots. <laughs> Can I have some of your tots? <laughs> I would have got it from that. <laughs> oh, it's Bye, Nate. Bye, Nate.
Oh my God. Vote for Somebody Pedro. says, you know that movie too well. It's true. I've seen that movie a lot. Actually. Yeah, listen to all these ones I could have got, and you gave me these obscure clues that I have no idea what they are. Guys, those were good clues. I, I would have got the Tater Tots, I think. I think I would have got the Pedro. <laughs> okay, so Nikki, you're saying that I give the clues to the audience and have them guess in the comments? Yeah, just you look at the camera at the phone. Yeah. Yell out the clues to Laura. Yeah. And everybody else can guess too because they, they're not seeing them. The only problem with that is is we're on such bad delay. So we'll have to read them after the fact. But I guess that's okay. Yeah, I mean, you're still just playing with Laura. Yeah, I can just be guessing, but they can guess too that way. They won't okay. know what it is. Okay, so you guys can guess too. I'm going to hold my phone this way. Oh, no, it's starting. Oh, no. So you guys guess too. Oh, it's uh, Carrie Bradshaw and they're... Sex in the City. I don't know that. Sex in the City 15. Shh, this is a Santa movie and there's a little girl and they're... It, it. Oh, come on. I could have got a Christmas movie. I don't know that one. Miracle on 34th oh, Street. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> this is this one Best Picture and Elizabeth Taylor gave the Oscar for it and then she messed up her Gladiator. <laughs> Okay, this is a uh, half animated and half not, and the hey, Frank Roger Rabbit. <laughs> oh, this is just came out, and it is that Timothy Sh Sh somebody Chalamet and this other guy in this movie, and they fall in love. Oh, that's a great movie. Yeah, but there's a big age difference, right? Yeah, it's about his name. Say, me, call me by my name. Good one. Oh, and this movie is really sad. I'll keep going. It, it ended. But this movie's really sad, and there's uh, balloons on a house, and it's animated. Up. Uh, oh, my God. Don't say up. <laughs> Don't say up. <laughs> okay. So what if, we, if we had the soundtrack, it would just be all over. I would just be look, people, in tears. Look, people got them. Sex in the City. Miracle on 34th Street. Thank God for Miracle on 34th Street. All you said was Christmas movie, and it's a girl. I said that's a Santa movie. And it's a little girl. Yeah, that's all you said. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Look how many people got it. One, wait, that one, so two, great. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Katie nine. Got it. Nine people got it, Laura. I can't Hi, type Katie. fast enough. Roger you know, Rabbit. Call me by your name. Yes, up, up. Katie loves the, the games. Me too. <laughs> What's the what's the quote that I like from Up and the little dog says it? I was hiding under your porch because I love you. God, that's just ridiculous. It's so sad. I can't take and it. And he has his little pin. Yeah. You know, the old guy has this little pin that his wife gave him. Oh my gosh. Andrea says, "Let's do it again." Okay. <laughs> Bye, Andrea. Andrea. Yeah, don't twist her arm, Andrea. Yeah, really. I like I like this a lot. Um, yeah. I might work up the nerve to give the clues. I don't know. Okay. I know you like to guess. You want to do it? No, just give me one more time. Okay, here we go. Ready? <laughs> it makes me so nervous. Okay, this is a heist movie, and there it's a casino, and it's in Vegas. Something thirteen. No, Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> I don't know that movie. <laughs> Oh, this is, uh, it's the girl from You've Got Mail and the other guy. And oh, Meg Ryan. Yeah, but they're in a in a restaurant and she's acting saucy. Maybe this is the wrong movie. When Harry Met Sally, yeah, that's, that's right. my fa one of my favorite movies. Well, you looked at me like I was an idiot. So <laughs> I've, this is a Seymour. Feed me, Seymour. Um, 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 I know it. Little Shop of Horrors. Yeah. Oh, this movie's creepy. It's kind of animated, and she has buttons on her eyes. Oh, Coraline. Yeah. That's terrible. Oh, this is a golf movie, and it's Adam Sandler. Go to your home. Are you too good for your home? <laughs> all the Adam Sandler movies are the same to me. You like them all, and I can't tell them apart. Happy something. Yeah. Oh, no, we're what? out of time. Happy what? Happy Gilmore. Oh. We were out of time, though. Oh, okay. That was pretty good. How many did we get? We got, like, four. Ah, oh, that's not very good. That's terrible. 
Let's see. Somebody said acting saucy. <laughs> <laughs> That's about all you can say about Ocean's that Ocean's 11. Ocean's 11. 11. 11. 11. Oh, who was so little, excited this year? Who had the little cat? Jen Bootsy. Hey. That was cute, that little cat. I missed it. Oh, yeah. Jen Bootsy. That is so cute. It's adorable. Sleepless in Seattle. No, that's close. Yeah, but that was close. I've never actually seen when Harry meet, met Sally or meet Sally. Don't tell. You're now, now we have to watch it. Okay. Sally, you, Sally. You won't really like it. Magic Lake House. I love it, though. Ocean's Eleven. When Harry met Sally. When hey, Harry you guys. Sally. When Harry met Sally. Acting saucy. <laughs> Who else loves the soundtrack to that? Misty Cantique's love... got Little Shop of Horrors. Nice. Good job. Coraline. That movie's creepy. Mm -hmm. Little Shop of Horrors. Lynn Hampton got it too. Billy Madison, that was close. But See it was, what I mean? It was Happy Gilmore. Those damn Adam Sandler movies. You can't tell them apart. <laughs> You're too fast. <laughs> you get it before I have a chance. <laughs> Actually, I feel like we... Sometimes it takes forever. We can't type as fast as Laura answers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's do our last box of stuff. I think we should play one more time. Oh. I think we should play one more time. By all means. Because they've all said that it's, I mean, there's several that said it was too fast. Okay. So I think they're kind of in the mood to play, but they want you to go slower. Okay. You want to do it this time? Just let the time run out. You do it. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, wait. My, my phone messed up. Hold on. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I don't know what that is. Skip it. That's the wrong way. There you go. Upright. There you go. Uh, oh, this won the Academy Award, and it was uh, it was very dramatic, and it was intense, and it was about a war. And uh, Saving Private Ryan? And, no, you've never even seen that. <laughs> oh, dang it! I can't. I, I can't. Oh, this is your most scary movie ever. And it happens when people go to sleep. And um, things happen in their oh, dreams. Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, this is magical. And it's a little boring. Harry Potter. And yes, but you have to say which one because there's 40. The Goblet of and Fire. It's, it's about a bird. And Order of the Phoenix. Yes, you got it. Oh, and okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the last one. I can't go slow because we got a timer. I can't take it. So it's the musical that you love, and it's gross, and it's dark, and I don't like it. But Sweeney you Todd. Like it. Yeah. Good job, Laura. You did a great job. <laughs> okay. Okay, so people were guessing on your dramatic movie. Yeah, what? Uh, you want 1917, 1812. Pearl Harbor, English Patient. I did a terrible what job on it? that. It was the Hurt Locker. Laura. But I forgot the guy's name that was in the Hurt Locker, and I even forgot really what the plot of the movie was. Lynn Hampton got Nightmare, Nightmare on Elm Street. Good job, Lynn Hampton. <laughs> the Harry time Potter. stresses me out. Me too. Me too. <laughs> <Ooh>. Cats. <laughs> Sweeney Todd. Good job, uh, Katie. <laughs> Do it again. Go one more time. Okay, one more time. <laughs> Laura hates this I do. game. <laughs> oh, this is like a great movie. It has Whitney Houston and um, Kevin Costner. And she kind, of plays, she kind of plays herself. She's a big singer, celebrity. Have I seen this movie? <laughs> I doubt it. Skip it. And she sings this big epic song that's so popular. Oh, my God. We're going to get that one. <laughs> You did it the wrong way. <laughs> okay. And this is a Disney movie, and it's got the genie and Aladdin. the monkey. This was, like, up for an Oscar, and it was about, you'll never get that. I can't. Yeah, it was about the stock market, maybe, and Wall Street. The Wolf of Wall and, Street. And uh, it's not small but it's big yeah <laughs> okay uh this is another disney movie and it's got bagheera and jungle it's, book okay. what was the 
Wall Street one. Well, I'm not really sure that it was Wall Street now that I think the about it. The big short? I've never yeah. seen that. Nikki, was that about Wall Street? I think so. Oh, thank God. Good job. <laughs> oh, wait. Somebody got it. Hold on. The bodyguard. Everybody yeah, got the bodyguard. Everybody got that one. I've never seen that. Oh, my God. Okay. You, everybody got that. You don't know what you're missing. I'm sorry. Mom said, I got none. Sorry, <laughs> Mom. Aladdin. Aladdin. <laughs> Aladdin. What does Vinny say? I can't. Where? I can't listen to this. Oh. Oh, yeah. Wolf of Wall Street. That's what I said. <gasps> hey, Jim Bootsy got the big short. Jim Bootsy. Laura Bemos hates our game. Oh. Laura Bemos. She's not. She's not getting it. You need to have a refreshment, and then you'll like our game. True. <laughs> okay, let's. The let's, big short's a great movie about the housing crash. Oh, let's let's show our last box back here, and then we'll do one more game. Okay, before we have to go, because we're creeping up on an hour already. Wow. Oh my god. I have to be careful. <clears throat> You guys really will have to tune in for our video Tuesday because we, we got some cute stuff. While you're, you hold that, but of course, you know, we got Afghans. And oh, look, so it's I'm false graph. Oh, there's a story about false graph in the video. Just, you just wait and hear our Tuesday video story about false graph. You're going to love that. <laughs> they are, Mary Beth. Where are you going? I'm going to get the Afghans. Oh. We had one. Do you know? Do you remember how much this box of stuff was? Two dollars. Bless you. Two dollars. Okay, so here's just like you think they were is, all going for two dollars. I guess this the is end. a creamer, or is it like a gravy? I think it's probably a gravy. Isn't okay. that cute? Yeah, it's cute. It's got a little transferware that's definitely mid-century with a little silver gilded edge. Mm hmm. <laughs> Michelle, hey, where's my fat bird? <laughs> I know we painted one just for you. Here's a little plate, a little decorative plate, and it has a sticker on the bottom, but it's uh, kind of in bad shape, so I'm not sure what that says. But it's just a little. It's just a little goodie. Mm-hmm. And the Afghan we got, we got our favorite kind. Look, y'all. Yay! It looks like candy corn. The problem is, it has a couple of issues. Oh. Yeah. But. It's still your favorite kind. It is. <laughs> True. Yeah. So isn't that cute? It didn't cost much. We might be able to yard sell that one. Yeah. We. I called the guy over and Megan was mortified. And I called him over and I was like, hey, can you sell those? He was just like randomly picking stuff off the tables. And he's like, I don't know. I think those Africans will be really popular. <laughs> yes, that is real. I didn't know it was a parlor palm. I don't know anything oh. about plants. But yes, that is real. My cat tries to eat it every once in a while, and I have to scold him. It looks pretty. It looks pretty in the shot. Yeah, it does. The... It's going to be pretty with the dinosaur paint by numbers there. Oh, Lord. Look, I can put it up there, and it'll be really, it'll be really <laughs> nice. Laura? <laughs> See? It looks real jungly. The last time I checked, <laughs> it really does. The last time I checked, we were at. 790 subscribers. Yes. You better get on that pay my number if we're going to give that away. We're creeping up. It's making me nervous. We're going to have to finish it. I know. <laughs> Just telling you. So what do you think these are? We've got like several of those. I don't know. Look at those. There's another one. What do y'all think? Are those some sort of Avon something? I don't know. There's a red one. I feel like you don't really drink out of those. Maybe we should think? drink out of these next week. <laughs> God, that would be funny. <laughs> We'd have to do shots. Oh, Lord. I can't. I can't get down with that. <laughs> oh, yeah, they said Avon. It. Yeah, they're saying Avon. Maybe so. It doesn't have, they don't have marks on them that I can find. Yeah. This box was... I think there was something else in this box. This, however, is kind of cute. It's like a little teacup. Did you show this already? 
No, that was up here. Mm -mm. Look, this is adorable. This is probably like some sort of little nut dish or relish dish. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. What does that say on the back? I can't see it, even with my glasses on. Uh, something, some sort of china made oh. in Japan. Mito. Yeah, Mito. Mito china. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty. It's hand painted. <clears throat> I like it. Yep. This is kind of cute. It's like just a little. I don't know. Yeah, you know what was in this box? This was our mystery box that had the little lusterware ducks. Oh, yeah. that's gonna Those be are in the video. Those are going to be in Tuesday's video. And then this is Japan on the inside of this little... So, these uh, were all the little extras. Yeah. That were in there. Those yeah. are cute. There's several more little things in here. Some candles. I don't know what that is. It looks like a cake topper. That's too much fun. Look, this is the shape of a ginger jar. Hey, we've got this. That's a ginger. We've got jar. this really valuable fall scrap cup <laughs> in here. Guys, you're missing out on the fall scrap. Make sure you watch Tuesday's video to learn more. Look, this is too. <laughs> Look, it is. We're racking up on the fall scrap. Mary Beth, Misty, go to bed. I think she's funny. <laughs> Misty. Oh, you napkin holder. What's a napkin holder? Napkin holder. Wait, what is? Misty, which piece is a napkin holder? Oh, is this? Oh, yeah. That's cute. That's right. I wouldn't have thought of that, but she's right. She's got a long drive tomorrow. Misty, I seriously, I cannot wait. I know. We're so excited. What are you wearing tomorrow? <laughs> Are you gonna wear like? Are you gonna be, like be like so cute? I can't stand it. Are you gonna wear like little overalls and overalls, overalls, and like have your hair in, in like ponytails and or like wear some sort of cute little hat, like a real picker? I know you. I know you're, you're gonna be so cute, and I'm gonna be like, oh, Misty is so God, cute. Misty's so cute. Misty's always so cute. <clears throat> okay. okay. And, oh, and there's one little like glass basket in here. You left that till the end, but that's pretty cute. Is it? I don't know. I think so. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think that's cute. Okay. Good one. Yeah. Laura Bemos, I'm still mad at all of you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is that why you don't like our game? Hey, did you show did this? You? Yeah, I said that was a ginger jar. You know, in the video, we have a... Oh, be careful. It's got potpourri in it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now it's everywhere. You're making a mess. It's like... Are you sure that's potpourri in there? <laughs> Show that to Laura. Laura. And ask her. Make sure that that's what that's it in is. there. It oh, smells. somebody said, can you show us the ginger jar again? This one or yeah. the other one? That's a ginger jar. The big... She was... In the video, we have a tea canister, and it's really pretty. I'll give you guys a sneak peek. Okay. How would that be? Yeah, you, you should do it. Oh, because, wait, but show that. Show because that. Because you said, show it because you far. said tea canister or a ginger jar, and I was trying to tell you on the video that this is the shape of a ginger jar, right? You guys. Somebody said, I hope that's no one's ashes. Oh, my God. No, oh, it's potpourri. God, I didn't think of that. Look, the painting is cute on there. If you guys see the little price tags, it's because this used to be in an antique mall. It was a pretty cheap antique mall. That's not what we paid. It was just paid for $2 for the whole box. Look at this. This is like a big ceramic ginger slash tea container. Yeah, it's not ginger. Okay. Yeah. Don't yell at me, <laughs> Laura. I don't think so. I mean, it's just... <laughs> And it's really heavy. Jen Bootsy says, is this hand painted? I don't know. Look. We're both showing different things. Go ahead. We're only taking they keep asking questions. What do y'all think? You think that's transfer wear? Let me feel it. Or do you think it's hand painted? Ah. Uh, it might be I don't know. I, th I thought it was transfer at first, but now that I feel it, I think it might be painted on there. Yeah. And it doesn't have any marks though. But this is really cool. I posted this on Instagram to try to get some help to identify it. My friends came through and helped me a little bit. Maybe we should put it in the car and take it to George tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, if anybody can tell us anything about it, he can, right? Maybe it'd be like Antiques Roadshow. Are we all going to show up with an item for George to appraise? That would be funny. But yeah, this is so heavy. I'm not sure. We might have to take this to Laura's store. 
Laura's mom's store and have Joy sell this for us. It's pretty <clears> though. But that's a sneak peek of, of Tuesday's video. Right? That's right. Okay. It's awesome. Cool. Okay, we are we just hit an hour. You guys have had a long night, I know. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna have to eventually think about changing times or I like this time though. Yeah, I like this time, but I understand that it's hard for a lot of people to uh you guys have been to be here. Been um YouTubing it for hours now. <laughs> but that's okay. Here, we're going to do the game again. Okay. One more game. One more? We might just do it forever. <laughs> I've got to find it. Here it is. Okay. Are you guys ready? Here you go. Let's let's do it. Okay. You giving clues this time? Yeah. Okay. And then you can do it. You know what else we could do? We could do like... Um, Next next week, we should do password. You know, the game is just, the password, password is. is. <laughs> the password is fat bird finds. Because <laughs> it's a slower pace. Everybody yeah. could like give us clues. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, let's 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 play. That'd be a good one. Okay, here we go. Ready? Right. Are we still doing movies? Yeah. Maybe we should change categories. Oh, this is where the girls run in slow motion on the beach. <laughs> The, um, uh, in the red bathing suits? Yeah. God, what's the name of that? Oh, I can't think of it. I hate that. Oh, this is, uh, Spock. Star Trek. Yes. I don't know that movie. I don't know that movie. What's the beach movie with the This is, um, oh, what's her name? Sigourney Weaver. And she's, uh, on a spaceship and there's a big monster. But it's a uh, the Alien. monster. Yeah, <laughs> this is a, a musical, and it's uh, Abba. Abba. Um, <laughs> Meryl Streep. <laughs> Why do I know what it is? Um, Abba. <laughs> You're gonna make me curse. Oh, I can't think. I can't stand that buzzer. Oh, we can't take it. We can't stand it. If Laura curses. Mama Mia. Look, I was so slow that the chat <laughs> caught up with me and got it. Okay, let's see. Lots of people got Alien. Baywatch. Everybody uh, got Baywatch except uh, you. <laughs> Aaron Lord. says that's a movie. Yeah. Was there Baywatch the movie? Yeah. I think that recently happened, actually. Baywatch Star Trek. I think I think Katie's the only person that got Star Trek. <laughs> Alien. I think that, that one went really fast. Alien, yes. Alien, Alien, Alien. I got that one pretty quick. Yeah. Lots of people got <laughs> Alien. Old people can't type that. <laughs> Dancing Queen. That's right. That would have been a good clue. Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. Good job, everybody. I thought you meant the movie, 10, that you're joking. Entering a number bid to win. <laughs> Do you remember that movie? Into the Woods. That's a good one. <laughs> movie 10? Yes. How, how do you know that? No, I don't. Oh. I was trying to say, how in the world would you know that? It was a joke. That was like the... Oh, very nice. Yeah. We just got more slushy added to our drink. Did you put that in the freezer? Yeah. Oh, nice. You are the dancer. You know, um, 10, like, it was famous because Bo Derek made the braids famous in that movie, 10. Mm. And it was so risque at the time. Wow. Like, triple X or something. Triple X? I don't know. It was really bad. Mamma Mia is my favorite. I love Mamma Mia. I saw Mamma Mia in person, uh, I don't know, a year or two ago. It was really good. What year was the movie 10? Let's see, Bo Derek. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think you should do the clues this time. Oh, somebody wants you to sing it. I was a little bit. Oh. Okay, you'll sing it very bad. <laughs> I thought one of these ladies was supposed to sing a song. Oh, Lord. Connie, Connie. <laughs> okay, you go. Okay, if we have a musical of this one, you have to sing. Lord. I don't know what that is. Oh, this is a musical. Oh, 
Oh. Yeah. And, um, oh, and we loved it. I really liked it. And it was in, um, Los Angeles and, um, oh, it had yeah. Emma Stone in it. La -la and they Land. danced all. Oh my gosh. This, La -la that was great. <laughs> oh, Megan and Katie. Megan loves this movie. Fine and Nemo. It's got Sandra Bullock and she does that to the window, to the wall. <laughs> That song. Oh uh, yeah. In that movie. And then the Yeah. And then it's the, Ryan Reynolds. And the bird the proposal. Steals the dog. The proposal. <laughs> okay. Oh, um. Uh, dang it. it. This it, it's got the it's it's a chick flick and it's got the uh the English guy, Grant. I forgot his name, something Grant, and and she's and the pretty woman, and she says, um, I'm just a girl standing in front of a boy. <laughs> Can you get that one? No. Hugh Grant. Yeah, that's it. Oh, look, look. They've already got Notting it. Notting Hill. <laughs> Good job, guys. They've already got Jim it. Jim Bootsy. Jim Bootsy is good at this. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> we got... Three. Maybe two. so, Cheryl. What'd she say? What'd Cheryl say? She said, do you think they'll let me miss a day of therapy after all this typing? <laughs> you guys are great. You guys are good. I a little bit slower so that they could, like, play. Okay, you go one more time, and then I'll go one more time, and then we'll wrap it up. Okay. What do you do? I just, don't know how to do oh, Just okay. hold it upright. There you go. Okay. Yikes. Oh. Oh, um, oh! This one has a surprise ending, and it's about ghosts and uh, sixth sense. Yeah. Um. Oh, Mary Beth, it's your favorite movie. When we can't think of anything to watch, and we want to watch Mary Beth's favorite movie, is it Twilight? Is it? Yes. Sorry, you guys couldn't play along with that one. We'll give you that inside joke later. <laughs> Oh, this is another spinoff of one of your favorites, and it's got dinosaurs and but Jurassic it's, Park. But it's not Jurassic Park, and it's got this, the great big one in the big uh, oh, pond, yeah. and he jumps up and eats. Yeah, it's Jurassic World. Yeah. And this is like a spinoff of Harry Potter, and it's about the animals, and uh, we didn't watch this one, and it <laughs> And it's got a really long Fantastic title. Creatures? Yes. Yeah. Really? No. <laughs> Fantastic Beasts and Beasts. Where to find them. Oh. Fantastic Beasts. Yes. We need like the slow version of this where we get a lot more now everybody, chances. Now everybody thinks that Twilight is my favorite movie. <laughs> I'm going to buy you a Twilight shirt. Please. I would wear it. <laughs> so you can wear the shirt. I would wear it. You want to hear something funny? No. I worked with a guy that bought his fiance the engagement ring. Oh my god. From Twilight. <laughs> so the funny thing about Twilight is it's so bad. It's so bad, but when it's on we have to watch it because it's so funny. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, you guys are great. My husband did what with the sixth sense? What? Oh. Oh, first date. Mm. That's fun. Sparkle vampires. That's funny. Hey, let's do that real quick. What? Who else who else had their first date with their spouse at a movie? I bet almost everybody goes to the movies. Probably. Who who all had a first a first date at the movies? Like, what was your movie? This will date you really quick. I don't remember first dates. I can't even recall one. I think I went to Applebee's on one of my first dates. Ugh. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It didn't work out. <laughs> Why would you do that? It didn't work out. <laughs> Click on that. I was at Murray. Button. I was at Murray, and there wasn't really a lot of places to go. Well, I was at Murray, but we went to the movies. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Okay. Can't play anymore. <laughs>
I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. You snake bite. Oh. God. Surely you're going to get rid of the snake. Do you make fun of it all the way through? Pretty much. Oh, yeah. Pretty much. You know, when it first came out, <laughs> when it first came out, we gave it a shot. And it was okay. It was pretty good. But the more you watch it, <laughs> the more you watch it, like when it's just on randomly on TV and you just watch it because it's on, <laughs> it's so bad. It, it really is. I don't care for Twilight because it's so bad. It is. It is so bad. The acting is just the worst. I think I would be a better actor. Probably not. <laughs> I think I need to go to the movies. I would love to go to the movies. I haven't been to the movies in a very long time. <sighs> softball game. That's a good first date. That's a good one. I love some softball. Still single. Guess I need to go to the movies. <laughs> <laughs> Scream 2 first date. I haven't had a first date. And I do not like the movies. Oh, you don't like movie theaters, Vinny? I do like the movies. Still single. I guess I need to go to the movies. First date was a hockey game. Oh, that's fun. I love a good hockey game. It, I, probably Thrift You is, is off of here by now. But um, when, when we went to uh, Des Moines, we went to Iowa. And I went to my very first hockey game there it was awesome that's awesome somebody said it was fatal attraction i won't say the movie it will date me <laughs> oh lynn me too fatal attraction that's awesome mine was what was the name of that i, I always forget the name of the movie because i always remember the song the song is the madonna song what what <laughs> Oh, I love some caramel corn. Me too. Mm. The I adore caramel corn. Me too. <laughs> Michelle, I love you. <laughs> um, Michelle, what's the damn name of the movie <laughs> that has Madonna's, Madonna started her career off in this movie and she sang crazy for you in this movie? Madonna was in a league of their own. Yeah, it wasn't that. <laughs> this was way before that, I think. I don't know. I can't drink this because it's so slushy. Why? Oh, that makes it good. I it by now. Material Girl? No, that's not it. It was a... Uh, Vintage Vinny says he doesn't like people. We like you. Oh, is that why you don't like the movie theater? That's a good, Maybe so. good thought. Good Desperately see Seeking Susan, that wasn't it. It was before that. She... she Oh, I'm late. It's okay, hey, Stephanie. Stephanie. You know, um, let me give you something else. There was a steel mill <laughs> involved. And God, what is the name of that movie? <laughs> Katie. Katie Garnett. What is the name of the movie? I don't know. Was Madonna's first movie? Well, it was one of her first vision quests. Thank you, God. Michelle, I thought I loved you before. Oh, I was really struggling. That was it. That's it. Probably y'all probably didn't even know that. I've movie. never even heard of that movie. And she sang crazy for you in that movie, and it was so awesome. Vision Quest. That sounds like a real doozy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's right up there with you know Flash Dance. She and... said Flash Dance. That was Jennifer Beale. Well, yeah, it was, it, but it was the same era, the same kind of yeah. Hey, I looked up the other day. What was the most popular song? Like on your birthday, mm -hmm. like on the top charts, and mine was the the song from Flashdance. What a feeling! Yeah. Oh man, that's a good one. What was mine? I don't remember. Oh, it was the Supreme. No, the the Supremes. I told you the other day that I tell. Who was it? I think it was. I think it was Diana. It was Ross. the Supremes because we couldn't think of which. I was trying to name the songs, and you couldn't. It wasn't any of the ones I named. You'll. It wasn't. Stop. Is it? Is is this the Supremes? The one that's like, oh, you'll just have to wait. Da 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 da. -da. It's a game of give and take. Is that the Supremes? You can't hurry, love. Yeah. Is that the Supremes? Maybe. I think that might be it. Madonna wasn't in Vision Quest. Yes, she was. <laughs> God, the song. I <laughs> Laura's gonna fight you. Oh, she really was. She's she's singing in a bar. You know, she's in she wasn't the star of the show. Here, she I'll was settle a, it. She was a singer. I hope that you're wrong. God, I hope you're wrong. 
you're gonna owe Mike Carey an apology. I, I'm yes, you're right. <laughs> I love when Laura's wrong. It's like my favorite. That's thing. not nice. But look at the comparison. Like in my generation, your generation, movie wise. I mean, song wise. Mm -hmm. What? My God, you can't. There's no comparison to Motown, The Supremes. I'm looking it up. Improvise. Shars Ness said the most popular song on my birthday was Boys to Men. <laughs> Into the Road, Boys to Men. My God, Shars Ness, how young are you? That's pretty young. So here's the cast. Here's Vision Quest, the <laughs> cast. And yes, Madonna is listed singer at club. See, I told you. She's just on Vision Quest. But we have to hand it to him. He he's right. She was not a she was actress in the movie. It doesn't look like she was the main character. It looks like that was this gal here. But yeah. What year was I born? Well, that's kind of personal. I guess <laughs> I guess I deserve that. 66. <laughs> 66. Lord have mercy. Let's Charles get Ness. physical. Ah, that's a good one. That's a great Charles one. Ness says she's 27. Her and, Vin, her and Vinny, just the babies. Of the yep, group. that's right. Okay, we're going to play the game one more time, and then we're going to wrap it up. How will that be? Oh, look, I got a lot of 66s out there, like Route 66. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. cool. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Here's to 66. Not 66 years then old. Then he's like, excuse me, I'm not 27. Oh, I know. He's maybe. <laughs> Vinny. Laura, you're a year older than my dad. Oh, my God. Vinny? <laughs> Vinny, you're in trouble. I swear, Vinny. If you don't finish whatever drink that you have right now, <laughs> then what? I'm not going to like you anymore. Oh. You just got to tip it up and finish it, bud. That's fantastic. Oh, I lost the game. Here it is. Okay, one more time. Here we go. One more time. Here we go. We're losing our audience. People are tired of us. I see that. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> yes. People are tired of our shenanigans. Okay. This is um, those guys, and they're <laughs> they're from the big blank that they go into the country, and they're like on horses, and it's that one guy that I can't think of his name. Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> Pass. <laughs> this is a naughty word, but it's uh, a James Bond movie. Oh. It's kind of like an, a sea creature with eight legs, <laughs> but it's a James Bond movie. Octopussy? Oh, God, you made me say that. I think that was a setup. I can't say that word. <laughs> God. This is Bruce Willis, and some say it might be a Christmas movie. Oh, Die Hard. Very good. It is a Christmas movie. I don't know that movie. Oh, this just came out, and um, this guy, hold on, I'll, I'll get it out. It's I'm counting down. It makes me <laughs> nervous. So he goes to this family's estate, and then he gets, like, brainwashed in the couch, and then they, like, sell him at auction, or they try to, but then he oh, runs away. Megan loves that movie. Yeah. Uh, it, it's called... Get out. Yeah, very Get good. Out. You did it. Very oh. nice. You did it. Yay. Vinny, go back. Vinny said he did it. I'm going to feel bad. Wait. I finished it, Laura. <laughs> Don't hate me. <laughs> okay. Okay. I Three it. Amigos. That's not right. No, that's not it. <laughs> Octopussy. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, City Slickers. City Slickers. That was it. I couldn't think. What's oh, the you guy's did name? It? What's his name? The main character. Yeah, you can't think of it because you couldn't think of it for When Harry Met Sally. Right. He was in that too. What is his name? Um, oh, um. Billy, Billy. Crystal. Billy Crystal. Gosh, I couldn't think of that for anything. <laughs> yes, Gail. Yes, Good you're job. correct. Charles Nest. Yep. I couldn't get the city <laughs> I like how she bleeped out her answer. Yes. Yes, Die Hard. Very nice. Did you tell me that you haven't seen Die Hard? No, I've seen Die Hard. Oh, okay. I thought I thought that was one of them you haven't seen. Mm -hmm, I've okay. seen that one. Somebody said you never saw Die Hard. No, I have. Who did I say that I hadn't I seen? I don't it? know. I have not seen When Harry Met Sally. 
That was the one I haven't seen. Oh, wait. I've lost my place, of course. Somebody said I feel 80. Cheers to that. I love James Bond. Love City Slickers. Billy Crystal. Yes, yes. You guys are all smarter than me. Wait a minute. Who remembers, speaking of Billy Crystal, who remembers Throw Mama from the Train? If that, I haven't thought about that in a million years, but we've got to rent that. That is so funny. Throw Mama from the Train. He tries to kill the, the mom of the whole movie, but it's so funny. Terry Ann says, I do. Did you think that was funny, Terry Ann? That movie's so funny. She's probably going to be like, no. <laughs> Danny, De- yeah, Danny DeVito was in there with him, with Billy Crystal. Oh my God, it's so funny. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, we've sufficiently gone over. We usually try to do this about an hour and 15 minutes, and we're over that time. So I guess we better sign off. Okay. I don't want to. I know, but we've got to get up early. We do. We've got friends to see. Yay. I know. It's so exciting. Very. Do you think there's, hey, do you think there's going to be like five different videos (laughs) of this weekend? Maybe, Maybe we should do, I was thinking about it last night. Maybe we should each like draw out of a hat and say, okay, you're part one, <laughs> you're part two, you're part three, four. And then we'll just like, and then people can like watch them in order. That would be funny. Day. That'd be fun. That's a cool idea. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. Well, we, I want to thank you for, you know, being with us with our, this much content and this much just hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> vibes tonight. <laughs> That's all right. That's how we like it. That's don't it. we, Laura? I love it. Okay, so give us a like if you haven't. If you're new, be sure you subscribe to our channel. Um, be be sure to watch our video on Tuesday. We're going to give We've you... We've changed to Tuesdays. It used to be Fat Bird Fridays. Now Fat Bird Fridays are flipping and sipping. Yes. Oh, that's a lot of Fs. <laughs> so now the videos are going to come out on Tuesdays. Yes. Yep. So um, Tuesday, 9 a.m. Central, we're going to show the good stuff from the auction. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's the plan. That's the plan. Okay. Guys, I hope Oh, that- look, Patrick made it. Hey, Patrick. Patrick. Just in time. Hey, wait. We're going we're gonna to hold off. Signing off. Patrick, are you in Paducah? Are you here? Let us know if you're in Paducah. Look at Vintage Vinny's hashtag. Wait. Somebody said Vintage Vinny has a funny oh. hashtag. I can't find it. I think it's down farther. Oh. I think it said he, he wants us to get 2,000. Oh, yay. It's down farther. Oh, there it is. Nice. Thanks, Vinny. Thanks, Vinny. Yes. Yeah. Patrick, you're in Paducah. That's Yay, awesome. Patrick. He's staying not really far from my house. I know. I can't wait. What time are we going? <laughs> we'll have to re-look at our uh, our text yeah. and make sure we know text what me. we're supposed to do. <laughs> so, guys, again, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you so much for watching, for subscribing, for liking, and for commenting. You guys make our Friday nights so much fun. That's right. We can't wait. We'll see you next week. That's right. So Tuesday, video on Tuesday, and, you know, be ready. We're probably going to be posting some stuff on Instagram tomorrow from our little meetup with our friends. Oh, that's what we should do. You can do, like, a little video clip, can't you? Yeah. Okay. Check us out on Instagram. Okay, guys. So be sure to stay tuned to see what Fat Bird finds next. See you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.